Today I'm bringing you another rebel investigation. It's the first in a four-part examination of a Canadian Border Services refugee screening audit that had been selectively edited before publication. Today we're examining some of the failures of the government to effectively screen refugees coming into our country. Canadian Border Services Agency completed an internal audit that detailed gaps in refugee and migrant screening processes. Now, the audit uncovered dozens, if not hundreds, of asylum applicants that went unscreened in one form or another. The original audit, called the Audit of Operation Syrian Refugee CBSA Security Screening, was severely and selectively redacted, but a full version of it was eventually leaked to the mainstream media. Global News devoted a one-page article to the full version of this audit, and I guess that's a start. Global reported that for 150 files, part of the screening process did not occur, meaning that key information may not have been identified or considered when approving refugees, and 39 Syrian refugees who should have undergone comprehensive security checks were not screened before arriving in Canada although they were recorded as having been screened. Given that the screening process is designed to weed out fake refugees from actual refugees and to prevent war criminals and terrorists and other national security threats from entering into the country, this is a serious failing of government mechanisms designed to keep us all safe on a day-to-day -day basis. And it deserves a much closer look. So we started going through this thing with a fine tooth comb and what we found will shock you. So let's get right into it. In this first document here, you can see that 11 out of 6,963 immigration files did not match CBSA records. Why not? In this next document, you can see that 135 files screened by government officials lacked evidence of having received an open source check, a Google check, and none of 150 files identified had a documented integrated query check. The potential impact of the missed open source and integrated query checks during screening is that key information may not have been identified or considered when making the admissibility recommendation to Immigration, Refugees, and Citizenship Canada. This internal government email says 22 people aged 19 to 52 had no comprehensive security screening done at all, absolutely nothing. In this audit result, officials found that 36 government-accessed refugees were approved to come to Canada, but did not have the required comprehensive screening. And the audit says that there may be actually more missed screenings. In this audit result, it reads, the potential impact is that these 39 subsequent cases did not receive necessary screening and therefore potential security threats may not have been identified prior to granting admissibility. And in this next part of the audit, they found that Immigration, Refugee, and Citizenship Canada and Border Services Agency officials identified that not all officers may have been aware of the requirement to choose the type of screening and any subsequent changes required a cancellation and resubmission in the global case management system of the Border Services Agency. Meaning, overwhelmed border agents didn't know the proper procedures when dealing with refugees and migrants flooding the border. From another part of the audit, officials admit that for a time, adult children were not required to be interviewed independently of their parents. What this means is that everybody's story would be the same if they were all being interviewed together. So there was no ability to identify the fake refugee adult children who would be piggybacking into the country with older refugees. This part of the audit details the entirety of the refugees who were refused in Ankara, Turkey and deemed inadmissible to Canada. The only people in Ankara deemed inadmissible to Canada were four refugee cases who failed to appear. Literally everybody else was approved. In Ankara, Turkey, a stable place far away from the Syrian civil war, the only people who were refused entry into Canada were the ones who couldn't bother to show up for an interview. 
Now, this has been just the first half of my investigation into the documents that detail the security screenings failures. I've got nine more documents to show you tomorrow that lay out the failure of Justin Trudeau's public safety ministry and immigration ministry to do what they need to do to keep everybody in Canada safe. But that's what happens when you unleash a torrent of migration like Justin Trudeau did. Government agencies just can't keep up. And then we're all put in danger. For the Rebel.media, I'm Sheila Gunn-Reed. Big tech has a war on conservatives. To get around the censorship happening in Silicon Valley, we've got our own Rebel Media app where you can always get access to our content. Download it on the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. Give it a whirl and take the other side of the story with you wherever you go.